Hello everybody, welcome back to another guitar lesson video. This week we're going to talk about the minor scale, and I'm going to let you in on a little secret. If you've been keeping up with the series and you watched that minor pentatonic video that I did a few weeks back, you're already kind of familiar with this. Uh, and before we really get rolling on the lesson this week, I want to introduce you guys to a concept called relative minor. And to explain what that is, we're going to hop over on the piano real quick. So come on, let's go. For the last couple of videos on this channel, we have been working in the key of C major, and that's starting on C, and then playing all of the white keys, and ending on C. And what I mean by a relative minor is that we're going to take these same seven notes, and we're going to make a minor scale out of them. So we're not going to use any of the black keys still, and how we're going to do that is that we're just going to start and end on a different note. In this case, we're going to have A. So we're going to play those same exact seven notes, all seven white keys, except that we're going to be treating A as our root instead of C, and this would be our A minor scale. And now we're going to go translate all this information from the piano to the guitar. The way that we would go about finding a relative minor on the guitar is pretty simple. So we're going to find the root of our major chord, in this case it's going to be C on the 8th fret of the low E string. And what we're going to do is we're going to move down two scale tones. So we'd move down a half step to B, and then a whole step down to A. And since you already know the minor pentatonic shape, you can play that right here. That is also made up of just natural notes, or what would be the white keys on piano. And in order to turn the minor pentatonic scale into a full minor scale, we're just going to be adding two more notes. So we're going to start in the same position, your first finger on the fifth fret of the low E string, and then with your first finger, your third, and your fourth, you're going to play five, seven, eight. And then you're going to do that same thing on the fifth string. Now here's where it gets a little bit stretchy, but you're going to take your first, second, and fourth fingers and play five, seven, nine on the D string. Moving up to the G string, this one's pretty simple. It's just five and seven with your first and third fingers. Then on the second string, you're going to have five, six, and then eight with your first, second, and fourth fingers. And then finally, on the high E string, you're going to have five, seven, eight with your fir fingers first, third, and fourth. So really slow, all together we have this. And then back down. Once you're comfortable with that scale shape, while you're playing, you can connect it with the major scale shapes that we learned before. So just for the fun of it, let's do this one more time. Say we're playing in the key of G major. Uh, let's do it up here just for fun. We're going to do the same thing again. Just find your root, go down a half step to F sharp. This would be a black key on the piano. And then we're going to move down a whole step down to E. That's your 12th fret on the low E string. And then we're going to do our minor shape there. Now going back to the key of A minor, a very simple but effective chord progression is your root chord, which would be A minor. And then to G. And then back home. So let's hear a little bit of how those scale shapes sound over that chord progression. 
A minor, F, G. That was just a short and sweet little improvisation to show you that you can effortlessly flow through those two scale shapes, or actually I guess it's more than two, but um, just because I show you how to play something with these particular fingers, that's really just an exercise for your fingers. It doesn't mean you have to play it like that, you know, you can always just slide around or do anything you want just get creative with it honestly and i i know i've said this before but if you hit a wrong note don't worry about it chances are it'll still probably sound kind of good music is weird like that i hope you found this week's lesson exciting and informative uh be sure to like comment and subscribe and if you have any questions at all you can reach me on instagram at og shred baron and until next week i will see you guys have fun the way that you would go about finding a relative minor on the guitar is pretty simple. So we're going to go find the root of our C major scale, and that's going to be on the 8th fret of our low E string. <laughs>